What's going on everybody? My name is Mike and welcome back to AXC Garage. Another episode on our EM1 restoration project. On the last couple of episodes, we went ahead to strip out the entire entry bay. Also got it painted this beautiful Milano red. Then the next episode, we went ahead to line the front end, get rid of some body work. On today's episode, we'll be working on the subframe and suspension. talk about the subframe here is the front subframe along with the suspension brakes and the power steering system on our EA1 restoration project now as you see right up here on top of the subframe here some of the paint already start to peel we want to go ahead and get this powder coated to the factory OEM finish but before we can do that we need to go ahead and remove all the suspension parts so let's go ahead to remove uh, all the suspension parts the brakes and the power steering system All right, we got the two all set up right over here. Let's get started by removing the brake rotors, calipers, the knuckles, possibly tie rod end. Then we'll go ahead and move on to these uh, function and form type one coilovers, lower control arm sway bar, and lastly, the power steering gearbox. All right, we are ready to remove the power steering gearbox. Before we do that, we need to remove the power steering high-pressure hose right over here. 
back in episode number three when we emptied out the engine bay, we were not able to remove this hose it's because they got some sort of JB Well bubble gum stuff going on over here that we're not able to get to the fitting. So next up, we gotta go ahead and break through this gum plastic JB Well type of stuff. And uh, some way, somehow, we need to remove this hose, then we can get the power steering gearbox out of the suffering. After a few minutes fighting with this line, we found the problem. Both the thread and the fitting, they both strip, makes it impossible for them to tighten up this line. Maybe that's the reason why they put the JB Well substance on it, so it stop this from leaking. But it's almost impossible because it's a high pressure side. So one of the suggestions that I do want to make is whenever you're working on any brake lines or any type of fittings, you want to use a line wrench versus an open side. As you can see, it's a lot more coverage to prevent it from slipping. So the last item we took out was the low control arm. Now the subframe is completely bare. Before we send out to get power coated, let's go ahead and give it a bath. It's filled with oil. We got our favorite purple power and brushes. All right, a little bit of elbow grease and some purple power. This suffering came out really, really nice. So when I drop this off from a power cooler, I'm not gonna get yelled at. Now, because of my OCD, I went ahead and washed up and cleaned up the lower control arm. More than likely, I'm gonna get those replaced along with the upper control arm. Uh, these uh, struts fork, I wanna go ahead and get this power cooler along with the knuckle. Uh, once I'm ready, I wanna go ahead and press out the bearings and the lower board joint calipers. I wanna go ahead and get those rebuilt, new piston, new seal, and go ahead and get them refinished. New brake rotors, I need to figure out what we do with the power steering hose. 
as far as the sway bar and all this bracket we want to go ahead and get those power code as well now steering gearbox it is an aftermarket unit and also the threshold is stripped out we definitely want to replace with an OEM one. Now, some of these parts, we're probably gonna steal it from the donor car. Now, up next, let's go ahead and get this knuckle to the press and get this bearing and lower board joint press out. All right, the subframe is nice and clean. Up next, we're gonna work on the knuckle. Now, we wanna go ahead and set the knuckle to get powder coated. Before we do that, we need to remove the lower board joint, the hub, and also the back end plate. Let's go and put on the vise and get started on. Right, guys the knuckles pretty much all stripped it down we got the bracket we got a lower board joint we got the hub and also the dust shield removed from the knuckle now the only thing we have to do now is to remove the wheel bearing now wheel bearing also missing a little uh, uh race right over here now the race is stuck right on the hub but for that we have a special tool we do this put against here we'll go ahead and get the press down too as well All right, just like that, the knuckles is all ready to go. We got the hub out, we got the race, and also the wheel bearing. Now let's go ahead and work on the other side.
just like that. We got a subframe along with all the front end suspension and back front power coating, and it came out incredible with this beautiful OEM matte black finish. Before we put everything back together, we're gonna resource a lot of missing and damaged components from our donor card that you see on episode number one. While we've taken a lot of these components out, Brian and the team will be working on the body work, making sure the body is perfectly straight before we lay on this beautiful Milano red. If you guys like what you see, you guys wanna make sure you hit the subscribe, like the video, and also share it with your friends and family. As always, thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you guys on the next one.